A question is how do you get mental toughness required in the market? How do you get the mental toughness required in the market? Actually, it's not the question of mental toughness. So, uh, Krishna's question is uh, that uh, how do you get mental toughness in the market? It's really not about the mental toughness per se. It is about um, it is about uh, having the right knowledge, having the right skills, having uh, understanding and experiencing the right knowledge and the skills. um uh, knowing what goes on in the market uh, going through a certain training process and um, you know when you are going through a training process then you are uh, what we call as uh, make your responses are second nature so it is what is called as uh, auto responses and uh, so it's not really about uh, mental toughness it is more about uh, having the right knowledge and the skill set and applying it and uh, you know keeping on practicing for such a long time that it becomes a second nature for you so so uh, that's how it is so it is really not about the mental toughness there is a factor of how much you know how much you have done so far uh, how much have you practiced there is a saying which goes that when you sweat in peace time is where you make the opposition bleed in war time how much you practice um, uh, you know every match in the world every sportsman in the world does not become a winner during the match what he does before the match is what is the game changer for him so sachin tendulkar did not become sachin tendulkar on the field he became off the field what he did for the 200 days when he was not playing cricket as a match is what made sachin tendulkar and this is with every sportsman and this is also with me so what most of you guys don't know is that i spend about 4 or 5 hours every day sitting down and reading and studying and uh, looking at the charts and practicing and making my son practice uh, who uh, i i got a one son on the left hand side so there you go that's one of him um, who uh, trades every day so he is uh, in the process of becoming a professional trader he has his own trading account and he trades actively uh, and there's a second one sitting on the right hand side uh, Uh, he has been attending my classes ever since he was eight. In fact, uh, I think he was one of the youngest guys who used to come and teach in my class when he was eight or nine. Now he gets bored. He is twelve now. So it is all about reading and learning and studying and practicing and keeping on practicing and finding out what goes right and what goes wrong. And there are so many strategies which you can use. So it is all about how much input you have in the stock market. So it is not. It's not very random. So if you guys are going to sit down and watch some movie and say that stock market is like this or like that, then it is, you are wrong. You are completely off the market. It's a very clear science and it's very clear. Uh, uh, it's a it's an art and you have to learn that. So Sunil Trivedi's question was after that. So I hope I've been able to give you such a long answer to a short question, but I think it was needed. Uh, So Sunil's question was: My problem is I do homework before I get into a trade, but once I'm into a trade, get lost with making market movements, trying to uh, this thing. Which means Sunil, that could be a couple of things. So he says that I do my homework, and after I do my homework, then once the market starts, then then maybe there is a po- possibility that maybe you are not doing the right kind of homework. Maybe you have not been taught the right kind of homework because obviously, different people homework means different things to different people. So you could not have been taught the right kind of homework. Maybe you don't have the rec- uh, prerequisite knowledge and skill. Maybe you do not have, um, uh, uh, you know, that skill set which you have to be developed. Maybe you do not have the strategies. Maybe you not got. When you are coming into the stock market, there are about. couple of subjects which are needed in the stock market so first of all is what is called let me write this down so that you guys are able to understand this i think it is 635 and we have kind of started off so let me quickly write this for you so that you guys are able to appreciate this so when you are coming to the stock market now i'm getting a little technical on this side uh, please bear with me so when you are coming to the stock market let me write this in red because i like the color red uh, there are six subjects which are required to make money in the stock market first of all is what is called as one is called as technical analysis so technical analysis is basically analyzing so what you do is analyze so when i say analyze it also means that uh, i'll i'll give the explain i'll give the difference uh, later second part of it is what is called as market analysis where you are sitting down and analyzing the market yeah third is called as how does the market work what is general market what are different players doing where do you think the different players are third is called as uh, uh trading concepts
So there are different trading concepts which are applicable. You need to figure out what are the trading concepts uh, which work for you. Fourth is trading systems. So there are different systems which are there. So there is a very clear system, a process, a strategy which has to be developed. It has to be very clear. Uh, stock market, when you are going into slightly, how do I say the right word is, you're going into the domain of professional or, or investing. So I, when I'm saying trading system, it could also mean investing system. So that word trading and investing is interchangeable. Uh, trading system uh, means that what kind of system are you using? When are you buying? When are you saying how long you're going to hold? Uh, when do you buy? When do you sell? What is the risk management strategy? So that is what is called as a trading system now. Uh, yeah. And fifth uh, it, it is called as risk management. Now, risk management is about how do you manage your risk. Now, in risk management, there is one tiny portion which comes, which is called as stop loss. Yeah. So, the, in stop losses, then there are again there are the uh, there's the entire gamut of stop losses. There is so there is something which is called as uh, a static stop loss. There is something which is called as a dynamic stop loss. There is something which is called as a trailing stop loss. Then there are uh, the, there is something which is called as a touch if no buy. Uh, these are slightly technical stop losses. Then there are there are what is called as a percentage percentage trailers. There is something which is called as a price trailers. There is something which is called as a volatility trailers. So there are different things which you can get into trailing stop losses. Yeah, and then there, there could be very very technical which is called as three TSLs, and there is something which is called as uh, you know DTSLs and stuff like that. So there is an entire gamut of stop losses depending on what is your skill level and how what have you been taught or what have you not being taught it all depends on that but a risk management so people generally feel that taking a risk management is or putting a, 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 a you know stop loss means risk management it is not so risk management is a very tiny part of the entire gamut of risk management so if, if, if you ask me uh, maybe risk management would be about 20 percent of the entire subject of risk management there are 80 more things which you can learn uh, uh, and the last is what is called as trader psychology. Trader psychology is how you approach the market. What is your mindset? What you're looking at? What you're not looking at? Now, if you ask me from this point of view, if you ask me from this point of view as to uh, of, of importance as to what is important, what is not important, then let me tell you. I will tell you how 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 retail people, retail people are people who basically lose money, people who don't know anything. They are amateurs. They want to remain amateurs. So. What do retail people focus on? And I'll tell you what retail people, they focus over here. Okay. So they focus 100% over here saying that I want to analyze the market and they have a, what is called as a predictive mentality, which means that all they want to do is predict. Okay. Market kidar jayega, market kaha jayega, market kya kar raha hai, kal kya honi wala hai, parso kya honi wala hai. Mera accuracy itna hai. Mene bula tha market upar jayega, bula, bula tha ke nahi upar jayega, gaya ke nahi. That is a predictive mindset. Okay. And for them, it is 100%. For, but if you become a professional trader, we give, okay, only about 5 to 8% weightage to this. So technical analysis for us as a professional trader who are putting big amounts of money, yeah, is 5 to 8%. That is why there are a lot of analysts which come into play. So a lot of brokers will have analysts. These analysts do not generally get paid more than 30 or 40,000 rupees a month. So they keep on giving giving you analysis because you can have the analysis but if you don't know what to do with it then you are into trouble right because what makes money is what to do with it yeah so uh, most of them get stuck up over here then second is this five things these five things market analysis trading concepts trader psychology trading system and risk management out of which trading systems is very very important and this is very, very important. And the most important after all this has been learned is this is trader psychology. Yeah. So uh, how you approach the market, what you're doing in the market, how do you how do you look at the market? How can you make money? When do you enter? When do you exit? How do you how do you feel good about the market? It is your psychology which is going to make money for you. And unfortunately, for most of you guys, uh, except for technical analysis, which everybody talks about two day for course and four day course and five day course into the stock market. Uh, everybody says, I come to me, I will teach you the stock market in two days time. When I, when I start laughing when people say stuff like that, uh, 
the what they're doing is they're focusing on the first part in technical analysis and then they everybody analyzes it boosts up everybody's confidence then they get very the thing put the money into the market and then they lose so when somebody came up with a question saying that i did my homework that homework was here which means what you really actually got out from it is only the technical analysis the rest five things are the ones which are going to make money out of that the most things which makes money is this so in fact i have been sitting down with my son and i have been telling him again and again and i have been telling him this the entire game of the stock market if you want to become the king of the stock market this is stop losses is what you need to work risk management and stop losses is what you need to work if you can decipher and kill the entire subject of stop losses you are going to change your game forever you will never be bothered about the market you will never be bothered about losing money you will never be scared in the market you will never be um, how do i say imbalanced in the market uh, it doesn't matter you will always be as happy as i am so this is how it is so out of which so now to give you an example so then we have two brackets bracket number 1 and bracket number 2 yeah this part of the bracket is what you analyze this part of the bracket is what you do so this is where the doing happens to give you an example why what is the differentiation let's say for example if you have a heart problem and if you have a heart problem then you have to go to uh, the uh, you know the, the cardiologist right so what does a cardiologist do he takes your ecg and not he takes your ecg is reading your ecg and he uh, reads your ecg and he tells you you know what there is a problem with your heart and you need to go for a surgery right now for that he charges you only 20000 rupees so once he has analyzed what is the problem you have to go to a surgeon now the surgeon will sit down and look at everything and find out what is your blood and what is this and what is that and what is that and what is that and then finally he'll come and tell you okay listen after four days we need to do your surgery we need to do an open heart for you and he is going to charge you 10 lakh rupees so the analysis part the guy who is analyzing which is called as the um the, who the person who is um, you know cardiologist gets only paid 20000 rupees but the guy who is doing the surgery is paid 10 lakh rupees why because cardiologist only analyzes the doing part which is the execution is done by the surgeon that's why surgeon gets paid more so that is why 99% of the people in the stock market end up remaining here only 1% of the people actually make money because they understand this so if you ask me i am a trader i do all these things my my execution is what makes money for me okay so if you ask me a question ke i am getting scared because there are so many things which you don't know already and this is i'm just scratching the surface so i can go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into it and that is how it would be is this clear with everybody am i able to make some sense to all of you guys okay am i able to make some sense to all of you guys all right so this was your uh, a very short answer for varun so maybe this is the reason why you are uh, uh, losing money so let me just just hang on and let me read the next question what is a head note when you answer you read a head note first i am confused exactly what is the head note kalpesh vakhode is asking a head note kya hai kya zabardast question puch hai sir aapne mujhe googli kar di this is the head note head note head note head note teen bar likha hai ek capital english mein ek capital english with spaces and ek the same right and when you click on this and there are all these beautiful photographs of so if you were not attracted to this i am pretty sure you would like the photographs of dipika in different forms and if you don't like that then i am going to get very offended so let me read out the head note for you so this is the head note why is it called as a head note because it is at the top you see as you open it you see it is right there it has been pinned and there is a head note so there is a whole thing which is called as a head note correct you please go and read it clear sir kab gaya kalpesh wakode sir clear ho gaya aapko itni si choti si baat hai choti si aasha okay okay so uh, let me now go to the next one uh, kunal ahuja say sir can you please discuss important things to include in trading system specifically for swing traders now kunal's question is can you please discuss important things to include in the trading system now trading system is something now what is a trading system trading a system is if somebody has been a businessman yeah or if he has been into the business then he knows that you don't make money by selling one or two products to one or two random people okay you have a clear cut system 
okay that's a, which means the business runs on the system that you make what time to open what time to shut what time to do before opening what time to do after shutting how do you count the money what are the this thing how do you match it up where what are the different products how do you pre record the products that is a system in a business so similarly in the stock market there has to be clear cut systems which are defined when do you buy when do you sell what is the stop loss when not to buy when not to sell when to put your money when not to put your money how all this now the system is what are the, the different people would have different systems so you could have a system which is called as an intraday system where you buy and sell at the same time you could have slightly a longer intraday system which means you could have a trade for about 3 or 4 hours that is also possible you could have a swing trading system which is what i generally trade where you buy right now and hold it for about 4 or 5 days and make the bigger amount of money then there are positional systems where you buy right now and sell it after 6 months or 9 months there are momentum systems which means when there is a momentum in the market you get inside the market and you make money so all of these are different systems now unfortunately for me to be teaching you systems yeah it takes a longer period of time so for me to be teaching you a system and how to from a system of the stock market i have to be the first teaching you technical analysis go deeper into a technical analysis then market analysis then trading concepts the trading systems are based on trading concepts risk management gets involved into it and for all of this to work i have to teach you trader psychology unfortunately for you in india most of the people only teach this why do they not teach the second to sixth part one because one it is tedious to teach two because people are too busy trying to make money when they are teaching so they are not bothered they just want to give you something so that you feel good and they move ahead or three they are just not dedicated enough so there could be multiple reasons why people or people just don't know about these things yeah so unless and until you have been into the treasury function you have been a international uh, uh, professional trader who trade for a living you would not know of these things so if you would not know of these things you can't teach those things that's very simple right now can i teach you a trading system yes can i teach you now of course i can't teach you now how can i teach you now it will take me at least about about 25 to 30 classroom sessions of about one or two hours each to teach you trading system so today it is not possible yeah so uh, you have to excuse me uh, there are certain things which i can teach uh, which i can today is a day of conversation you can ask me these questions what best i can help you i will help you but otherwise please do not have uh, illogical expectations uh, and say ke sir mujhe bataiye ke aap successful trader kaise bante ho to main aapko bata sakta hu lekin aapko sikha nahi sakta क्योंकि सिखाने के लिए मेहनत लगती है आई गेट अप एवरी डे आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गाइस नो लॉट ऑफ यू गाइस नो दिस आई गेट अप एवरी डे एट थ्री ओ क्लॉक इन द मॉर्निंग ओके एंड आई वर्क वेरी हार्ड फ्रॉम थ्री ओ क्लॉक टू नाइन ओ क्लॉक इन द मॉर्निंग टू बी क्लियर व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू आफ्टर नाइन ओ क्लॉक सो माई मनी डज नॉट गेट मेड आफ्टर नाइन ओ क्लॉक माई मनी गेट्स मेड बिफोर थ्री बिटवीन थ्री ओ क्लॉक एंड नाइन ओ क्लॉक नो वाई डू आई हैव टू गेट अप एट थ्री ओ क्लॉक आई एम क्रेजी आई कैन डू क्रेजी स्टफ एंड आई एम नॉट आंसरेबल टू एनी वन बिकॉज आई एम आई इन्वेस्टर and i don't depend on other people for money so i can do crazy stuff so you don't have to do the same thing which i do that is not the secret of making money um i am in the zone during that time so i can do it you don't have to do it point of the matter being you need to be somebody needs to teach you what is a system and a process and a strategy and what are the rules what when to buy when to sell what are regulations what are the methods what are the techniques what are the strategy all that has to be taught to you if you don't get taught this and if you don't practice it on your own you are not going to go far Okay, so you will have to just accept this thing. As if Kureish's question was, sir, out of the six, which is the most important? The most important is trader psychology. The most most important is trader psychology. But a trader psychology will only be of any use to you, provided you know the first five. If you don't know the first five, the sixth one is of no use. Okay, so that uh, that's how it is. So you'll have to first learn the first five, and then that's when you get to the first six one. Yeah, I know. Uh, so. Hi Keshav, Keshav is from Pune. Sir, hello, sir uh, Divakar Babu. I am Divakar. I am an IT professional from Bangalore. Which me, which method is recommended for going long or short? Which method का मतलब क्या होता है? Divakar, for you to make money in the stock market, there are only two things which are required: you buy and you sell. So please let me just give you, uh, uh, let me give you the secret of the stock market. Okay, there is only one secret of the stock market. If you want to write it down, please write it down. Okay, there is only one secret. Don't believe anybody else. okay there is only one secret to be making money in the stock market and that secret is you have to buy and you have to sell so you buy low and you sell high and then or if you are even more smarter and you think you are adventurous in life you have to sell and after it goes down you have to buy 
and you have to sell high and you have to buy low so you buy low sell high or sell high and you buy low that's the secret of making money in the stock market now when you buy low which is first and you sell high which is second activity then it's called as long or if you sell high which is the first activity and you buy low which is the second activity then it's called as going short so you can go make money by either going long or by going short buying low selling high but essentially what remains is you have to buy low and you have to sell high and that's how you make money now if you ask me how do you what are the methods this is the method now how do you figure out when to buy low and high that is a completely different question which i can't answer you right now you'll have to learn all those things which i taught to you before for you to figure out where to buy low and where to sell high clear right divakar babu ji yeah so now uh, shikha is asking question so i'm going to the next question and second uh, second question is shikha hello sir last week you suggested few tools your videos on rsi seem really helpful will try to incorporate it bollinger band video is very quick i need to some details explanation on it i also you told about trading in an all time high please suggest videos for the same okay shikha so go ahead and look at the videos of rsi and bollinger bands i am in the process of creating a new rsi video but i am just not getting time i have been full on with my hands completely full for the last one month um, because obviously of because of the trading second is i was busy with some activities third there were some couple of other training programs which were launched which are high end extremely high end training programs so i have been die 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 busy trying to you know uh, close those programs and make sure that uh, people are able to follow into line so i'm sorry but so i have those things in my mind but i have a lot of ideas <laughs> um uh, but unfortunately for public you guys are the public so for you guys for the public uh, there are only certain few videos which i am able to make but obviously i have a catalog of other videos but it's only meant for my students so um so there are enough material but it's not available for public right but having said that i will try to see what best i can do but uh, shikha there are i think 23 or 24 videos which i have made please have a look at all of them uh, the idea is not about uh, and uh, by now you must have realized that one uh, whatever i make as a video i'm very um, how do i say without you know i'm not into that bullshit brigade uh, so i will make it with as honestly as possible and give it to you with whatever i can give you so you guys can do whatever you can do so uh, uh, rss strategy is a good strategy bollinger band strategy is a good strategy you just need to execute it better for yourself so learn and practice learn and practice is all i can say uh to nishan dahir now question is how much capital do you require to enter the market now that's one one question which always uh, 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 has been asked to me ke sir kitna paisa lagta hai market mein aane ke liye kitna capital lagta hai and uh, let me answer that question to you uh, and i'm going to answer this once for all it is never about the money most of you guys don't understand this it is never about the money you don't require money to come into the stock market what you do require is knowledge and skill sets to come into the stock market okay if you have the prerequisite knowledge and the skill sets you can start with 10000 rupees and i can guarantee you you can sit down and make 10 lakh rupees out of it it will take you some time but you can do that if you have the knowledge the skill set you know the approach yeah but if you don't have this and most of the people don't have this then it will take not more than 2 months for you to make 10 lakh rupees to 10000 rupees so it is really never about the money okay it is always about what do you know how much do you know how do you what have you learned how much have you practiced how much hard work have you done how many books do you read so it's all about that so the question asking a question is ki kitna paisa lagta hai market mein ye ekdam bakwas question hai और ये क्वेश्चन हमेशा लोग ट्रेन में डिस्कस करते हैं कि पैसा पैसे को खींचता है वो तो ठीक है व्हाट मेक्स मनी इज योर ब्रेन व्हाट इज बिटवीन योर इयर्स इज व्हाट मेक्स मनी फॉर यू मोस्ट पीपल डोंट अंडरस्टैंड दिस या सो लेट मी गो टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विक्रम चिमनानी इज क्वेश्चन इज सर आई एम स्टक एट लुपिन एट वन वन थ्री सेवन प्लीज एडवाइज आई हैव गिवन यू द आंसर टू दैट नो क्या वो वही क्वेश्चन पूछने का बट चलो ठीक है अभी आपने पूछ लिया तो आपको तो नाराज नहीं कर सकता मैं so uh, let let me have a look at this you stuck in loop in you stuck in loop in abhi kya karne ka uska kuch nahi kar sakta you should have 
Okay, just one second. L U P I N. That's how look. You are into trouble, my friend. You'll have to wait. You'll have to wait. And I mean, uh, I mean, if you are smart, uh, by the time it gets to a level of about 900 or 950, you should be out. So max, you have to hold the stock till 900 or 950. You should be out. Don't try to act smart and hold it any further. Or you'll have to hold it for five years. You hold it for five years, you're okay. There might be a chance of making money, but. It's a long shot for you. So you're stuck, you're stuck. You should have, I mean, you should have known better. Okay, so Nikhil Singh says, sir, uh, do let me know a beginner. What should be the steps to learn the market? Any book or course recommended? I'm totally no in this field. Thanks and cheers. Nikhil, the easiest way for you to be going and doing that is I have a, a, a channel on YouTube by the name of Chetan Pudar. Um, uh, it's an educational channel. I don't put too much entertainment there. Entertainment happens on this group. But uh, so if you want, you can go and have a look at the videos. There are enough uh, basic good quality videos, which I have made with all honesty uh, to explain to you how uh, the stock market is. You can go and have a look at it and uh, see how best it can help you. That's all I can say to you. Right, Nikhil? So try that first. And if you don't, if you still need some help, then you can always come back to me. But first you try what has been given to you. First you try to learn what has been given to you. You do what is expected out of you first. Then you can move forward. So Sai Sudhi's question is how to trade invest based on RSI Bollinger Bands in a bull market because even for both good markets and bad indicators show overbought signals. Uh, uh, Sai Sudhi, I can tell you that go and have a look at my Bollinger Band video. It is very clearly been explained. How do you trade uh, Bollinger Bands in, an, in a bull market? It's actually there is a technique for it. Uh, obviously, you cannot be you cannot be only using Bollinger Bands. There are more things to that system. Obviously, I cannot teach you that right now. It is not in the purview and the scope of what I can. Uh, I mean, it, things cannot be taught to you in a conversation. Please understand when I teach, uh, you know, I have been teaching a course uh, in uh, Jamnalal Bajaj Institute of Management, JBIMS. There is a course called as MSc in Trading and Finance. This is a course uh, by uh, um, a college called as um, London School of Economics. So London School of Economics from London has an extremely popular program called as MSc in Trading and Finance. So it's like an MBA. So MBA, uh, so LSE has two programs, M MBA and MSc. MBA is a general MBA program. MSc is a very specific and categoric uh, finance program. So uh, the entire third sem of that program is trading and uh, uh, teaching trading and technical analysis. So when that program came to India, a couple of years back, uh, actually, Dr. Manmohan Singh was one of the people who were, who was instrumental. It was his dream to get that program from LSE to Mumbai, India. So he got that program. It's a very coveted program. You have to uh, go through your CAT, uh, CAT levels for it. Uh, there is a selection. Only 30 people are allowed. The fees are also very extensively high. Uh, so you would, uh, you end up spending about 30 lakh rupees over two years to go through the entire program, including everything. So it's an expensive program. So you can, um, uh, you have to get your, go through your CAT. The cutoff for the CAT is about 99%. So if you are a 99 percentile in CAT and you go through your GDN interview and get selected is when you will get inside that program. Uh, a lot of investment banks, uh, you know, hire students from that. A lot of treasuries hire students from that. Uh, so I teach the third semester. Third semester has got about seven subjects. There are 700 marks. Out of which there are six papers. So each mark, each each paper is about hundred marks, and the seventh one is a viva. So seven hundred marks are given for it. So it takes me six months. It takes me six months of dedicated students in a classroom session to be teaching people these two things: technical analysis and market analysis. I don't even teach trading concepts, trader system, risk management, and trader psychology there. So just for me to be teaching these two things after paying 30 lakh rupees and spending about six months of your life. Yeah. And having four or five textbooks and writing an exam for it, which is a university exam. So it's a Mumbai university paper you have to write and you get marks for it. So. When you do that is when you will be able to understand technical analysis and market analysis. Now, uh, obviously, if you're understanding gravity of it, I cannot be teaching the same thing over here. It is not possible. You guys, and definitely is not over a conversation. So, uh, 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 to go and have a look at, 
so i i will go and have a look at what is a free content to you something which is free is given to you you can go it keshav tiwari's next question is uh, could you please give us some example including all of these so where which you described just a moment ago it's like if you're looking at fmc sector then you should you be different aspects to keep in mind before doing trading uh, keshav i'm sorry yaar i am not able to give you an answer to this because it's very long an answer and i don't think this is the right forum for you to be asking those questions and i am not definitely able to give you those answers uh, keshav you are asking me to do what is called as teaching and i am in no mode of teaching today okay for me to be teaching you have to be you have to i have to know who you are uh, i have to know the kind of people whom i am uh, 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 who i am teaching i have to have some sort of dedication so all that is required so uh, me having a a conversation uh, a random conversation doesn't help i can show you the direction today i cannot tell you what are the steps to do it okay i'm sorry for that you have to accept it if you are so die die wanting to learn all this you can contact me later i can help you out yeah you can there is always uh, a easy way you can contact me you can call me you can whatsapp me uh, now if you ask me what is my number believe me my number is it's very easy to find my phone number yeah ask any pretty girl in bollywood she will have my number uh, just kidding uh, but it's easy you can call or you can whatsapp right so uh De- devika ba- bakta's question is uh, book uh, book you have referred are with foreign authors does a analysis concept remain uh, indian share market yes now devika i had given you a book which is called as you can start with a book called as martin pring uh, so there are two ways of doing it either you can do it the easier way or the difficult way easier way is just go on to my youtube channel and watch the videos it will take you some time because some of these videos are heavy and you will have enough Uh, i can guarantee you you have enough information quality information to drive you through or otherwise you can buy a book uh, you can buy a book called as martin pring uh, technical analysis by martin pring it is about 540 pages last time i saw it it cost about 645 rupees on uh, on amazon the last time i bought it uh, so he also has a version for the indian markets but it does not matter because charts are charts are charts uh, you know it's all the same So the concepts are the same, the charts are the same. So you can read that book, and it will help you a lot. Uh, Krishna R S says market analysis. What is market analysis? Market analysis is you are trying to find out what is the market doing, what is the general market, what is the perception in the market, where there is is there a greed, is there fear, uh, the, uh, you know, uh, is there demand or is there supply? What are the different players doing in the market? How do different players affect the market? So that itself is a study. So a qualitative and a quantitative study of the market is called as market analysis. So before, like there are times on on in the market where you don't have to be trading at all. So if you don't have to be trading at all, you don't trade because you are going to get into trouble. So for how do you figure this out? You figure this out by no doing your market analysis. So there's an entire process for it. Obviously, I can't teach you today. Please understand. But this is what it is. How much exercise do you recommend for traders to be healthy? Blessy Matthews, how much exercise? Yeah, that's a good question. How much exercise? Um, there's a lot of exercise which is required. Obviously, uh, looking at me, you guys are not going to get inspired. But you should know that for last two and a half months, I've been at home and I have broken my foot, so I can't walk for last two and a half months. I I'm still awaiting my surgery. So hence all this. Um, uh, if you ask me why am I taking all these webinars, is because. um all my assignments for me to go out of my house i have cancelled it so i you every weekend i used to have classes i used to have sessions which i have cancelled and i have been sitting at home so uh, so i i have just recovered from a very uh, nasty accident uh, where i uh, you know i fractured my uh, my knee and i couldn't walk and i'm still awaiting my surgery so meanwhile i have to do something in my life so yeah there is a lot of uh, exercise which is required it's always a good thing it's got nothing to do with the stock market um, uh, but um, it will keep you healthy it will keep you sharp uh when you talk about exercises there are two parts of exercises one is the physical exercise second is the mental exercise and let me tell you when you sharpen your mind you always feel alive so for that you don't need to be going out yeah but where before that i used to be trying to run or i used to be trying to go and cycle i used to do a lot of things physical activities i have never for last two months in my life sat at in in my house uh, you know i i generally on a general platform i travel very often uh, a lot of you guys know this uh, my every trip of mine is almost a month old so uh, i go when i go out for vacation my general vacations are at least twice or three or four times a year uh, where i disappear for one month so i can go to hong kong for a month or i can go to thailand for a month and i can stay there and do funny things in my life 
so last time i crashed my bike um, when i was riding all the way to Ra- to rajasthan uh, at jodhpur so harley davidson guys had um, a national meet so i had gone to rajasthan riding uh, for the harley davidson uh, you know ride and on the way back i crashed at the speed of 100 so i broke my foot what the fuck so it doesn't i'm sorry so it doesn't matter so hence all this all right so uh, yes plus you do require exercise but it's got nothing to do with the stock market uh, uh, varun sharma's next question is sir what is managed stock and how is it done varun sharma's question is what is a managed stock and how it done managed stock is a stock where there are certain operators who get into the play okay a lot of times they are uh, in connection with the Uh, the person who's promoting uh, the stock uh, sometimes they are in connection um, on their own and what they do is they try to inflate the price and raise the price of the stock uh, on an artificial level so they keep on buying so that there are about 10 of them together and one will buy and sell and the second one will buy and sell and the whole objective of doing it is to increase the price and so they keep on increasing the price they will keep on sending sms to you they keep on sending tips to you and they will ask everybody they'll uh, you know how do i say uh, they will artificially increase the price so that as the price goes up they have bought it at a very nascent stage uh, they have put the uh, money at a very nascent stage the price goes up and all of a sudden uh, all the people get very very uh, worked up about it they start buying and it further goes up and all of a sudden they dump the stock so all of a sudden they dump the stock and then they remove all so they have bought low and they have sold high they made their money so the rest of the people who get stuck up are the people who are retail people who don't know anything so it's very similar to what is happening in uh, similar similar i'm not saying is the same what is happening in bitcoin so all of you guys are jumping around with bitcoins uh, without even knowing what a bitcoin is so bitcoin is very similar like that so a lot of times it happens very often it happens uh it's been happening enough times have i done it i have done it enough times so uh, as my career so i know how it works i have a lot of students uh whose families do it i have a lot of students who come down and learn the right way of trading from me because their family does it and uh, you can get into big trouble if sebi catches you then they can uh, bar you for life a lot of people have been barred for life including harshad mehta ketan parek have been barred for life it doesn't mean much but you can still do it um a lot of my students to prove my students who came from that family have been barred uh, from trading they have sealed every account that they had so it's no it's not worth it so does it happen yeah it does happen all the time in the stock market should you to be doing uh, should you the so moment i say that the stock is managed which means it is artificially managed stay away from it because there are so many other stocks to make money from okay so uh, i think there was one stock which everybody was talking about let me see if i can show this to you one of my students had written down on a different forum So let me see if I can show it to you. On a different forum, there was a, one of my students who had written it down. Let me see if I can show it to you. Wait. Okay. So this is the. So on 30th November, one of my students had put it down, and then we had a discussion. So this is a, a thing by K. Badali is one of my students and. a lot of my students were they think so this is what it is so you they increase the price from here they increase the price all the way from here and all of a sudden they drop it from there so the price goes so all they have done is they have bought it over here they artificially increase the price from the price of about 82 all the way to 130 so they removed their money at the price of 130 and it dropped so they made about a cool about 40 or 50% returns and the rest of the people are now stuck so this happens uh, now can that happen with you yeah, it it can happen with you right so this is what is called as managed stock right varun sharma i hope i have been able to give an answer uh keshav tiwari's question is can you give me a rough answer keshav stop being stubborn in life okay just stop being stubborn in life you want to learn go to my video channel learn it if you further want to learn give me a call and we can figure out a way in which i can teach you but keep uh, stop asking me give me a rough idea rough idea what are you going to do with the rough idea What are you going to do with the rough idea? You go and ask Sachin Tendulkar that, sir, मेरे को एक rough idea दे दो ना कि आप how did you become the best uh, batsman in the world? What answer will he give you? So come on, be realistic about it. Ask me an intelligent question. I get very impressed with people who ask me intelligent questions. So don't 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 create a brand for yourself. So if you want, call me up later. I'll help you out, but not right now. Ah, uh, uh, Kamal's question is, sir, uh, my name is Kamal. Location is Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Hello, Kamal. from tamil nadu chennai uh, when the market is down trending like this week our stop loss hit immediately or going down 5% to 15% association will be helpful to overcome the emotions 
Kamal, I don't think the market went down so drastically. To be very honest with you, I don't know why everybody is talking about market went down drastically. I don't think it went down drastically. It's just a small, it is what we call as a correction uh, or what we call as a retracement. So retracements happen, like to give you an example, okay, uh, let me show this to you. So I don't know why everybody is panicking about it. Teen, char percent niche gaya, to people are this thing. So then you should not be in the stock market. Maybe you guys are doing something wrong. Uh, you know, so this is how the market is. So this is what the trend is. Since January, the market has gone from 8,000 to 10,000. Market has straight away gone up from 8,000 to 10,000. For last six, seven months, market is in a very beautiful trend. So it went down by this thing about three or four percent. So what? This is just a retracement. Can it further go down? Of course it can go down. But so what? So stop saying again and again that, uh, you know, it is a uh, market is in a downtrend. It is not in a downtrend. Market is still in an uptrend. It is a correction. These things happen. If you see it, see this, it goes up. This is impulse. This is correction, impulse, 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 correction. So it's a correction. Can it go up further from here? Yes. Can it go down further from here? Here also? Yes. Do I know it? I I don't know it. We'll come to know about it tomorrow. Another three, four days time. This is a crucial junction. 10,100 is a crucial junction. If it further goes on, there is a chance that it will go till to the level of 10,000 or it will go down to the level of 9,900. So if you ask me realistically, where will it go? It could go to the level of 9,900. Is it possible? Yes. Uh, is there something to get worried about? No, that has to be into your trading plan. That has to be something which is in your mind before you put money into the stock market. Why is that a botheration? Having said that, you can still make money. Okay, so now if you ask me a question, how do you overcome your emotion? Your emotion is always there because of lack of knowledge. When do you get scared? You get scared where you have irrational. Fear is always irrational. And it is not fear that is hitting you. It is a confu it is a mix of confusion and fear together. So if it was only fear, it was okay. Not only do you have fear, you have a massive amount of confusion in your head. So not only is that confusion amplifying your fear, you are going crazy. Now, if you want to understand why you're going crazy, there is actually a scientific reason for it. And go and have a look at that video as to why 95% people in the stock market lose money. So there is a video on YouTube channel. If I if you go to the YouTube channel, then there is a video out of that. You can go and have a look at that video. And it's a very beautifully made video. So that's, uh, I don't know where is that. Yeah, so I, I can show it to you later. So there's a video which has been made. So you can have a look at that video and I'll put up a link for it. And you can see as to why is it bothering you. So the reason why it is bothering you is because one, you have lack, you, there is a serious lack of knowledge, the serious lack of financial literacy. Yeah, you have fear because you don't know what to do. You've done things which other people have told you to do. And then there is a massive confusion and that nobody seems to be giving the right answer. So all these emotions are because of that. So you have to learn first. So Shubham Chawla's question is, how shall I start learning these mind blogging topics? Again, go to the channel and do whatever you can. If you further die, I want to learn it. If you further think that, you know what, this is not helping me. You want something else. You want to upgrade yourself. You know, maybe you want to become a professional trader. You want to quit your job and do whatever else. Give me a call. Let me see what best I can do for you. Okay. So these things are available to you, but for that, you have to do what has been asked for you to do first. Uh, okay. Okay. So the next question is Akash Anande. His question is, this is Akash. Uh, Hi Akash from Mumbai. I'm also from Mumbai. How do you identify a stock which is manipulated? How do you identify a stock which is manipulated? Two things. One, it is not easy for you to identify the stock which is manipulated. Why? For a simple reason that, um, uh, you know, it's an advanced skill. It is not only an advanced skill, it's a highly, highly advanced skill. Two, you have to be, you should have been able to do that. So, uh, and it is something which has to be taught. So it's a skill. So, um, uh, so can I teach it to you? No, it takes a lot of time. It has taken me 20 years of my trading and five years of doing all these things to figure out how it works, but it's a skill. You can learn it. I'm going to teach it to my sons. I'm going to teach it to my sons. I'm going to teach it to a couple of other people who are very special to me in the stock market. So those are the people I'll teach. Yeah, 
but can i teach it to you no i can't it takes a lot of dedication and time you have to learn how to read the candlesticks you have to learn how to read the price you have to have a look at the chart you have to find out what goes on you have to find out how things work when you read the prices where you'll be able to figure it out so can i teach you over a conversation definitely no it's a master skill master skill cannot be taught you over a conversation yeah so sagar uh, kharad says that uh, where to learn is there any training program with you uh, the question is is there any training program with you of course there is a training program i am a trainer i'm a full time trader but i obviously uh, that's not my objective today so if any of you guys are die die interested you can always contact me later today is not the day for it today i would like to be talking and trying to help as many people as possible logically okay without being ir- illogical about it so if you guys want to contact me later let me see what what i can do for you guys not no promises but i let i could help you so again divakar babu's question is hello chetan ji divakar here hi divakar can you please show me an example of particular stock which goes up and down and teaches us briefly i am not going to be teaching today sir i am sorry you want to be taught please go to this thing because there are too many people asking too many questions i have to answer all of those questions if i get into the teaching mode maybe i will take a session later okay not today but today is definitely no it is a no go Uh, but there are so many videos which I put on YouTube. Go and have a look at them. No, diya to hai sab kuch sir. Abhi wo apko use nahi karne ka to kya karne ka? Okay, Varun Sharma says PC jewelers and Raymond at current price question mark. What does that mean? There is no question there. Your statement is PC jewelers and Raymond at current price question mark. I will say exclamation mark and I'm going to move forward. Uh, Saurabh Khandelwal, sir, sh- should we keep some portion of our portfolio stock related to high dividends? You can. It's your money. You can do whatever you want to do here. If you ask me, should I? Would I do it? I would not do it. If you want to do it, you can go ahead and do that. It's your money. You can do whatever you want to do in your life with your money. Is that the right thing for you to do? If you say it is the right thing, it is. Will I do it? I won't do it. Will I ask my sons to do it? I won't do that. But who can I tell you? Right. Uh, so Ajay Dhuriya's question is: Even after having trade setups. still not able to control my emotions any advice on how to manage emotions ajay duriya then you have a problem with your trade setups maybe you don't know how trades are who is your guru who is taught you ask him that question ke sir aapne mujhe sikhaya hai to aapne kya sikhaya hai and why is it not effective because if you if your system and a process is clear you should neither have fear you should neither have greed all you should have is logic like when i when my my son comes and sits and he's uh, sitting down and taking the trades he's very clear he neither is greedy he is neither fear neither he is confused he can see the chart he is looking at the chart if he sees a trade he will take the trade if he does not uh, see the chart he will not take the trade he will take the trade he'll put a stop losses he is not bothered so where is the question of emotions emotions will always come when you have not done what is expected out of you you have not read the books which are expected out of you you have not done your homework you have not been taught you are doing things at random so if you do things out of emotion then you are going to be in embroiled in emotions right so logic is logic emotions is emotion so sorry boss you have to learn it kalpesh wakade which has who has left his question is whenever i read the chart i am confused how many months or year charts to read i am new to chart reading kalpesh so it depends on what generally we we start reading about 5 years or 6 years so uh, it depends on what you are reading in a chart different systems have different processes the way i do i do what is called as price reading so when i'm doing price reading i always start with about 5 years or 6 years so if i am looking at a 5 year process or 6 year process i'm trying to figure out what is going on i'm trying to figure out where is the buying coming in i'm trying to figure out where is the selling coming i'm trying to figure out how the stock moves what is the stock personality what are what is called as the drawdowns what are the called as high ups so i am finding out drawdowns i'm finding out high ups i'm finding out wow, what is it uh, what is the general movement i'm looking at what is called as um, uh, what is called as um, uh, you know uh, multiple time frame analysis so i'm doing that i'm trying to figure out what's going on and that is where the analysis happens now it takes generally it takes about half an hour to one hour for somebody to do this but because i've been doing it for so long and i put my own money it's very easy for me so i could sit down and read the chart in about Eight or ten seconds, and I could give you an analysis in about ten seconds time. But for me to arrive that to that figure of ten seconds, it has taken me twenty years. Okay. 
So there you go. So uh, there is a next question is by Shikha Batra. Shikha's question was, sir, I have really late to watch your videos on IPOs. Now I've learned my lesson. Very good, Shikha. So I have already told you so. If you take, if you don't take me seriously, you're going to get into trouble. I'm sorry. What can I do? Everything has been given. There is enough free things given to you for you guys to make money in the stock market. If you don't take it seriously, too bad for you. And you learn. I always say this to my students and I say this too many times that if you don't learn from me, you are going to pay a very heavy price in the stock market. I say this again and again. Why? Because if you don't learn, then you're going to pay a very high price in the stock market. You'll have to pay. Stock market is going to be merciless. So either listen to me and do what I tell you to do and you are protected and you will have sanity. If you don't listen to me and if you are going to act like a vagabond, then the market will teach you its place very easily. Jada time nahi lagega, market ko aapki jaga dikhane ke liye. All right, so Shika, all right, great stuff. Please guide me on damage already done like GIC, SBI life, NICL, ICICI. Oh, superb, Shika. Shika, do one thing, just put a post on uh, on investments and I'll tell you later as to what exactly should be done. But what can I say? You've done everything wrong. And if you do everything wrong, the consequences of doing something wrong is also wrong, no? Kya kar sakta hai? Okay. Nishant Ahire says, how to join your class? I'm ready to learn for two years. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. Only two years. Huh? So Nishant, contact me later. This is not the forum for me to discuss this. Parito uh, Panchal. So here's what we're going to do. We have another 10 or 15 minutes max. Maybe max 15 to 20 minutes. So I, whatever I can take, I'm going to take these questions. Again, this uh, session gets recorded. So you guys can go and have a look at it again. Yeah. Uh, so Paritosh Panchal says, has seen your Bollinger Bands video, had a question related to it. When I try to plot the band on ET markets, technical charts, how do I decide the period and SD for a market? So Paritosh, uh, here's where the problem is. The problem is that you are using free software and free. You have to realize this in the market that what is good is not cheap and what is cheap is not good. And what is free is definitely never good. So ET markets is a hopeless chart for you to have be having looking at it and if you're going to be doing that then you're going to get into trouble the easier way is that uh, get an account open with any of the bigger brokers like Sher khan Sher khan will give you charts you can plot those charts and these charts are given free by the brokers so it is not like you have to pay for it so they are given free by the broker use those charts so don't do it on et markets if you're going to do it on et markets uh, charts and all that then you're going to get into trouble Think you are going climbing Mount Everest. Are you going to be taking the equipment which you are carrying on Mount Everest, which is given free to you by somebody? You are not going to do that, right? You are going to buy your own equipment. You are going to probably buy the best equipment possible. So why are you doing it in the stock market? You are putting your hard-earned money into the stock market and it is very easy for you to lose money. So why don't you buy the right equipment? I have never understood this. People always look for the cheapest things, the easiest things, the things which somebody does not charge. And then you want to put your hard earned money by and uh, depend on all these things to make money for you. So my question again is very simple that if you are going to be climbing Mount Everest, are you going to buy the cheapest and the second and the third and things and things which are given to you free at the base camp? You're not going to do that. You're going to buy your own stuff. So are you guys not respecting the money which you guys have worked so hard for, which you put into the stock market that you take it so easy? So nice I am just talking on a very uh, logical platform here. So please, Sher Khan is good enough. Uh, open an account with Sher Khan and see what best you can get out of it. Good for you. Lionel Mangulkar's question is investing in stock IPOs having P ratios of less than 10 and positive operational cash flows would suffice for stock selection criteria? Absolutely not. Do you know when you're talking about P ratios and all that? Do you know fundamental analysis? And I guarantee you, since the fact that you have come on this forum and asked me this question, you don't know anything about fundamental analysis. And fundamental analysis does not mean P. And P does not mean fundamental analysis. Fundamental analysis is huge. Not only huge, it's like massively huge. For you to be learning the basis of fundamental analysis, it is going to take you four years of formal education. Four years of reading 21 textbooks. Each of them is about 400 pages each. 
and after you do that and take the exams is when you'll be able to understand fundamental analysis don't kind of take that entire four or five years of manner then put it into one p ratio it doesn't work like that and i don't think any of the stocks above which are p ratios below 10 exist in any case yeah so don't do any of these things you're going to lose money but having said that if you don't want to still believe me go ahead and do it I to you bolna full on karo do jhapad milega stock market se sab samajh mein aa jayega as if kureshi is trade what are trading concepts trading concepts are concepts where you have to be learning when to buy when to sell when not to buy when not to sell how to buy how to sell the definition of what are the times when is the risk management where is the high risk what is the high return what are risk reward ratios this is what is called as trading concepts so there are different concepts when do you take a trade when do you take a breakout trade when do you take a trade on the upside when you take a trade on the downside when do you go short when do you go long where do you put your stop losses these are called as trading concepts where you can actually take trades and make money krishna sorry for my accident no you don't have to be sorry for my accident i mean i have to actually having a lot of fun in last two and a half months accident or no accident i don't care much but anyway thanks for your uh, this thing uh so ss says i don't know who's ss but he's saying sir i have bought some you know ss ss is a very dangerous word by the way if you guys don't know this just type in ss and um and world war ii you'll come to know anyway uh, so i have some shares of icsa prudential bought two three months back it has been downtrend since uh, do you suggest that you hold in icsa prudential guys uh, hold it for about uh, about one or two years you'll make money abhi to kuch nahi ho sakta but ek do saal pakad lo aaram se waisa banega shikha batra's question is sir just to check if i'm getting it right if we see nifty bollinger bands it has cut the lower band so it is, should be turn tomorrow not necessary it is just an indication not necessary that it will turn around bollinger band just because the 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 price touches the lower part of the bollinger band does not necessarily mean that it is going to turn around it simply means that if it is your system you can do it is trading plan and trading systems the same thing no trading plan and trading systems are massively massively different trading plan is what you do for the day to day trading system is an overall strategy so a system a trading plan is a small part of it which you use for a day trading system is what basically is the system which you follow how you operate who you are what you do how you operate is what is the trading system so there are two different things okay i'm tired now uh so next question krishna uh please tell us what are the stocks that we should not enter i mean which less skills uh, we should not enter abhi mere me aapko bata nahi sakta i will tell you what you should enter so if i see a good opportunity stock then i put it on the forum very simple if i see an opportunity if i see an opportunity which i call as idiot proof opportunity idiot proof opportunity means i am finding out the weakest link into the system the weakest person into that into the group where if i tell him to do something and if he does it then he will still make money is what i called as idiot proof call so i put it there and in fact there are so many calls all of them are making money so take those calls no rather than asking me ki out of 6000 which i should not done i'm sorry yaar itna time thodi hai mere paas yeah so take the calls which i give you okay okay so varun sharma says how to trade uh, pc jewelers and raymond uh, varun uh, ye ask this question on the forum no i'll give you an answer to that abhi mere ko mat puchu but i'll give you an answer to that just put it down on the forum like everybody else be a nice boy uh plessy matthew says are the skills of detecting operating stocks applicable across markets with proper trading yeah with proper training yes if somebody is ready to teach you it's a very high end skill not only high end skill is an extremely high end skill so if somebody is ready to teach you then well there you go you're going to be one lucky devil who can learn that skill you know it's stock market right people should be ready to teach you something first all right i have taught i have taught it to one person in my life i am in the process of teaching my elder son now so what is the best advice for beginners of the stock market arul dev arul hi arul you are from singapore i know that you are uh, i mean we, you are known to me so just follow the system arul uh, you you should be able to learn it okay well, when you taught your kids did it begin with them asking you questions or was it who you initiated the topic plessy i do this full time my sons have seen my lifestyle i travel four months a year i pretty much do what i want in my life i can speak to whom i want to do in my life i can i can i have a choice with everything in my life obviously they have also seen the kind of monetary gains which i have in my life 
and the lifestyle which i have it's 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 a no brainer for them to be getting into the stock market i generally read i study we have a culture of reading and studying at home yeah we have a culture of working hard we have a culture of thinking there are a lot of things which my uh, my uh, my kids are privy to so obviously they are going to be coming into the stock market no hey logic i have my sons have seen me teaching to a wide audience of about you know 3 or 4000 people at the point of time so so if they have then obviously and they have seen that there are so many people who are becoming successful because they learn from me then it's just a next step for them to learn from me also right yeah so no they i don't force them they can do what they want to do my elder son has already decided that he wants to be a trader my younger son has also decided but at this point of time he wants to be a cook which i'm not going to stop him because he's an awesome cook and he makes good food for me so i'm not complaining all right so there you go you got your answer and it's not very difficult stock market is very very interesting stock market is very very uh, it's it's fun so it's like playing a video game to be very honest it's like playing a video game so why would you not want to do it and then if you play the video game right then you make money out of it so thank you so nishan aire says thank you yeah all right any other questions anything that you else that you guys want to ask you i think i have given you an answer to most of the questions which have been asked in the forum uh, i'm sorry there are some questions i am not able to answer but please understand that there are a lot of people waiting in the in the aisle and i have to make sure that i give equal time to everybody so there are certain thing people who i can teach some things you can't some things i can help uh, there are videos which have been mentioned for you some of you guys have any questions you can write them on the forum and i can help you out anything else that you guys need from me for today all right so if if not then i think this is where we conclude the session so uh, thank you guys thank you for your time thank you for being here and um, uh, this is a recorded session so we are going to give me a day or two's time to uh, you know kind of process this and upload it on the youtube and then uh, i will see what best i can do for you and you never know all right so be smart don't be dumb uh, read learn study work hard use your head don't be fooled with other people giving you tips yeah there is enough money to be made in the stock market everything that you can achieve in your life is available to you i guarantee you that you guys have no idea how much stock market can change you i am i am not joking to you i retired 7 years back i'm 43 years of age right now by the time i was 36 i retired i haven't worked for anybody in my life after 36 i don't deal with people whom i don't like i have that option because i can afford to uh i can travel when i want to i generally take uh, uh, vacation six times a year i'm not saying sure. i'm just saying that these are the things which are available to you once you are into the stock market because when you are into the stock market you are not really working for money you are making money work for you which is a very different concept from what most of you guys do so most of you guys go to work and exchange your time for money i don't do that i exchange my money i get money for the skill set which i have developed and it has it is irrespective of the time so i can work when i want to uh, there are times some days when i don't have to work and i still make money so that's the beauty of the stock market and the day you guys realize and understand this is a time you guys will decide to get into the stock market very seriously and is the time your life will remain changed forever so here's what i'm going to say so thank you guys thank you for your time um and um, we'll see you sometime somewhere again all right goodbye and good night to you signing off from me and signing off from my youngest son whose name is arya and from my eldest son who's ved all right so i'll see you guys again